Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Phone Fighters. Thanks for joining me for this video. Uh, basically, this is going to be a, a video to just cover a new project that I'm working on. Um, a long time ago, I built a, a plane called the Aurora. Um, it's a plane that's loosely based on a top secret plane that's supposed to be out there that nobody in the government's really even confirmed is even there. It's supposedly the plane that was built to replace the SR-71 after it was retired. And the stories of it being a plane that can fly at Mach 7 and actually leaves like... Um, crazy weird vapor trails and can even be picked up on seismic um, uh, monitors when it flies. So it's supposed to be a pretty crazy plane but nobody's really proven that it's really there. So I just want to kind of make my own concept of what I thought it might be like. Um, so uh, this is kind of my uh, new concept. It's actually going to be a foam board plane. Um, basically I just made it um, pretty much a delta wing type aircraft with a fuselage maybe similar to the SR-71. Kind of a flat diamond shape. And uh, for this plane, I'm going to be using a KF uh, M2 airfoil on here to hopefully make it a little more stable and uh, fly good. So um, basically, this is the about a little bit bigger than a half scale mock-up that I originally built to do some glide tests to find out where the approximate um, center of gravity or CG will be for the plane. So I used that and I balanced it with <laughs> basically just a quarter on here until it started gliding right when I just tossed it in the air. Um, once I found that then I set off to build the full size plane and actually I have the plane done so um, let's take a look at it and after we take a look at it we'll get out to Herman Airport and uh, do the main flight alright everybody here's the finished FF Aurora next to the small mock-up plane that I originally built um, as you can see it's very similar to that original plane um, this one does have the canopy on top um, and cockpit area I guess and top of the fuselage and it's uh, pretty much a delta wing like the uh, little concept that I had and this plane was specifically made for um, the monster jet from Grayson Hobby that's going to be coming out. So that's kind of what I designed this plane around um, the power plant to be for it. So um, it's necessarily going to be run on a 3S LiPo pack um, rated at 2200 milliamps. And I just have the top cover um, just velcroed on right now. Now I'll probably tape it down um, just for the initial flights when I get to the airport um, to test it out just to make sure that do not blow off. Um, We'll see how it flies, and maybe later I'll, I'll test without the tape. But anyway, that's how that goes on. Uh, the fuselage on this is very similar to the uh, Foam Fighters Bird of Prey that I built a little while back. Um, it's got kind of the same diamond shaped, uh, but it does have a lot different um, fuselage and canopy area. Um, underneath, I've got a 60 amp ESC, and we got the GPS in here. I'm going to be testing out the speeds of it when I get out um, to do the uh, initial flights. And basically, the battery just Velcros down in the middle here. Um, it can be slid forward or back to get your proper CG and it's just held in with Velcro. So that's kind of the basic look of the plane. Um, as I did mention before, it's got a KFM2 airfoil. Um, hopefully that'll make it fly a little bit more stable, uh, especially at low speeds. Um, the KF airfoil is definitely uh, create more lift and I, Frank and I noticed they uh, definitely make the planes a little bit more stable and have less tendency to rock at uh, slower speeds. So um, on this plane, it's a little bit different than some of the other planes I've made. I've got kind of simulated motor um, pods here on the side, and those are actually used to help support the vertical stabilizers. So they'll be nice and uh, stiff and secure. And for this plane, I did make the vertical stabilizers out of balsa wood um, to make it a little bit stronger. I always have a tendency to run these uh, vertical stabilizers into something, and they get bent up. Um, when the final plans do come out, you, can, you will have the option, you know, if you do want to make them out of foam board, you probably can, but they just won't be as durable. Um, the plane does have the motor and prop, you know, pretty much kind of a mid-mounted um, design. It's not totally out of the tail. So you do have this area kind of behind the prop. That probably will add a little bit extra drag, but um, I don't think it'll be too much because it's just a single layer of foam board. Um, the servos, I've got it kind of mounted on the bottom of the wing, and the servo arm po pops up through the top. So I usually like it to pull the ailerons or uh, elevons or whatever they're controlling from the top, uh, especially when you're going like into a, a high-speed maneuver and you need to pull up. It's, I think, a little bit better to have the control horn on the top of the uh, control surface. Uh, basically, here's a view of the bottom. I've got some simulated air scoops. That helps make the tail of the plane a lot more rigid. The servos are just kind of mounted in the side of that with the control horn popping through the top. So that's a little bit better view of the motor area. 
and the plane. So uh, let's get this thing packed up and take it out to Herman Airport and uh, do the initial uh, main flight. Hey guys, I got my FF Aurora all completed. I'm getting ready for the maiden flight. Again, this plane was pretty much specifically made for the new Grayson Monster Motor that's coming out. I've got the 2400 KV uh, version of it on this plane, and I'm running a 7x5 prop for the uh, maiden flight on a 3S LiPo pack. I guess that's it. We're gonna go up for the maiden flight, see how it works. Ready? Yep. Ready, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> So how does it feel, Paul? Uh, it feels like it might be a tad nose heavy right now. Good roll rate. <laughs> well, looks like it uh, flies fairly well on the Maiden. So let's see if it'll slow down a little bit. Looks cool in the air, man. Yeah. Yeah, I did put a bit of a ugly tape on there, but I just wanted to make sure that the uh, canopy was held down uh, very good. I've, right now, I just have Velcro on the canopy to hold it down. I think it'll be okay, but I just wanted to make sure for the maiden flight. Okay, that's only about a quarter of throttle. That's full throttle. I do have the uh, aileron set back um, pretty mild. I think I'm only running about 65% of the throws. So yeah, it looks like I do have some torque roll to the left. So I have to dial that back. Unlimited vertical. Yeah, pretty much. Let's see how she glides. Okay, yeah, I'm getting some nose down. With the KF airfoil, it's got a KFM too. Um, looks like it flies actually really good slow too. Dang. Ah, did you get that? Sort of, kind of. Little high gets a little hard telling orientation, all black. Okay, let's try a little inverted. Looks like it flies awesome, man. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around and bring it in. Yeah, over there. Come in like you do. 
Yeah, go way out there, man. This is uh. Okay guys, that's the main flight of the FF Aurora. Okay guys, got the GPS, let's see what the numbers are. Uh, I had it plugged in for 9 minutes 30 seconds. Flew 4.6 miles, 97.6 miles an hour on the 3S. So that's a little bit faster than the uh, F117 flew that I tested it out on a couple weeks ago. Um, we picked up about 7 miles an hour on this plane. So I think for the next flight, I'll see if I can sandwich in a 4S pack and we'll uh, drop down probably 6 5.5 prop.